Okay, so what is NIC? What I have told you. So NIC is this chip called Network Interface Cards. And long time back, 10 years, 15 years back, so every computer, like in every computer, we have to buy separately this NIC card, which we add in the PCI slots. Okay, it's a chip, basically. You can see that, and we have to place this in the PCI slot. This is what we call PCI slot. This is motherboard. So I as a Lagana purpose. Okay, we have to add like this. This is very, very old card, like 10 years, 15 years back. Okay, but nowadays all the motherboards and computer don't have MAC address. Okay, and, but where we have MAC address, we have MAC address on this chip. Okay, we have MAC address on this chip. And nowadays, all the motherboards already have this chip inside. You can see some slots. So these NIC cards are already inbuilt on motherboards. So you do not have to buy separate thing now. So this is what we call Ethernet port also. Dan port, Ethernet port. Okay, Ethernet port would be more uh, good though. Okay, so nowadays, we have two cards, three cards, depends on your motherboard, you have multiple ports also. See, these are called NIC cards. Okay? These are called NIC chips. So after that, if we want to connect the whole computers together, okay, so then we buy a, a device which is called switch. Okay, or hub. Earlier it was hub. But hub has the problem if you send data to one computer, data will go to all computers. So hub we do not use nowadays. So in hub, we connect all computers. You can see the cables are connected with computers like this. Okay, so this is how we connect computers, like eight computers together. Okay, so it is not used anymore because if you send data, you can see send data, it will go to all computers together. So this is what we call broadcast. If you send data to everyone, this is called broadcast. If you send to one machine, but go to everywhere, that's called broadcast. Okay, it's a problem because bandwidth utilization will go high. Okay, so this is what two devices is the covered MIT and how. Then we bought a switch, which is more powerful device. Okay, where we connect all computers and uh, there is no problem of broadcast. If we replace this hub, if we replace this with the switch basically, so switch will only be sent to A computer to B only because switch will not map address. That okay packet is coming from A, computer is uh, uh, going to B, so switch learn map address, that's why it is going to the same computer. So he's saying, I am the B computer, please only send to me and other computers will reject the fact. Okay, so after that, we have a device which is like the father of uh, native devices. Okay, router. So basically, if you want to connect two different networks, because two different networks, why default they cannot talk? Internet is also a different network. So, why you always need a router at your home? Why everyone have Wi-Fi devices at home? Router, what you call router Wi-Fi devices? Because all these devices connect with a different network. Or router, what is router? Connect two different, two or more different networks together. This is how we build a network internet. A lot of network devices and routers are placed on internet. Every college, university, campus, companies, they all have routers. Then all these routers, even big ISP, big ISP also have routers. This is how our data is going to Google and Facebook. All routers are forwarding your data to Google, Facebook, anywhere. Because routers are forwarding your data. They check routing table, they check and forward data. Okay, so... Everywhere, every company, medical, hospital, everyone, everyone is using routers. And these routers are helping us to connect with each other. So which cable we place between routers normally? 
वैन केबल सो वॉट आर वैन केबल सो सम केबल्स आर अंडर सी ऑब्वियसली वी कॉन्ट पुट सो बिग आई एस पी दे हैव लॉट ऑफ राउटर्स लॉट ऑफ राउटर्स एंड दे हैव केबल्स ओके एंड दे कनेक्ट राउटर्स विद केबल्स ऑब्वियसली एंड दीज केबल्स प्रोवाइड कनेक्शन टू होम ऑफिस एंड ऑल ऑल दीज थिंग्स 